Hey everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine and today is day six of the 12 days of Christmas. We're halfway through this video series and today I'm going to make a classic truck ornament. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, let's start the assembly process of this red truck ornament. So I cut the back piece on 1 8 inch Baltic birch plywood. I cut the uh, rail for the truck also on 1 8 inch Baltic birch and it has that nice engraving and it kind of just makes it look like it has some wood grain to it. Then for the pieces I'm going to be gluing on top of this main piece. I have 1 8 inch green acrylic and that's just going to fit right on top of the area where the tree is. And I also have the 1 8 inch red acrylic which I did not unmask the red acrylic just yet because I want to paint the engraving that I did. I took the masking off of the back so you can see it is red acrylic. But I'm going to paint this first. You don't have to engrave anything. This is just something I wanted to do. I wanted to engrave it. So I'm just going to paint that before I take my masking off. And then when I go to glue it on, it's going to go fit snugly right over this uh, truck right here. And that's probably the first piece I'm going to glue. And then I'm going to glue the green tree piece because that will fit right inside there, just kind of like a puzzle. And then lastly, I have two black acrylic wheels, 1 8 inch again. And once I have these two pieces glued, I'm going to go ahead and glue the wheels right inside the wheel bases where they should be. And the glue I'm going to use for this is Gorilla Super Glue. And the paint I'm going to use for my engraving is, I just chose, um, some metallic silver paint that I had on hand that I think will look really nice on the red. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this really quick and show you if you want to paint something like this yourself. Like I said, leave the masking tape on and I'm just going to take my small paintbrush and just basically go over the engraving. It's pretty simple. You may or may not want to do a couple coats. It's up to you. But that's just what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to do two coats on this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And once that's dry enough, I'm going to go ahead and peel off my masking and then start gluing everything together. And then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so here is the finished piece. It all came together really nicely. The engraving with the paint came together nice. It just peeled right off and I didn't have to, you know, wipe anything down. Um, so as you can see, the back is all wood, but the front is acrylic. You can use whatever materials you prefer. If you want to just use wood and paint the different pieces, you can do that as well. I just wanted the shiny acrylic look and it just I, it was easier not to paint. Um, but as you can also see, it looks like just a smaller version of the uh, Farm Fresh Christmas tree sign that we did in the first 12 days of Christmas video. So it's just a little smaller version of that and I think it came together really nicely. All right, I hope you liked this. If you're interested in making this, I'll have the file listed in the description box below on where you can purchase it. And if you're interested in getting your own Glowforge and making similar things like this, please feel free to use my referral code also listed in the description box below on where you can get money off. Plus I would get credits too, which me and my family truly appreciate. So thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one.